In this video, I will be talking about how you can configure and set up external data center in Seng 4 IM version 11.0. In order to set up external data center, you must meet these minimum requirements. First, prepare a Windows Server 2003 or 2008 or Windows 7 32-bit or 64-bit and make sure that there is at least 1 GB of RAM, a hard disk of 2 GB for log storage with NTFS format and make sure that there is no Apache or SQL service running. Data Center is used to record data and statistics of internet users. Data Center is divided into two, namely Internal Data Center and External Data Center. The device comes with a built-in data center because storage space is limited if customer wants to save many logs, we recommend installing an external data center. These are the change logs in IM version 11.0. In IM version 11.0 onwards, external data center will be accessed using port 443 which is HTTPS protocol. SQL database was replaced with Seng4 self-developed database and this has improved the performance by 30%. For IM version 11.0 and above, external data center is able to support other browsers other than Internet Explorer, such as Firefox, Google Chrome, and all other browsers that are supporting OS X by default. External data center needs to be installed on a separate server, synchronized logs generated by IAM for customers to make queries, export reports, and other operations. This is an example of network topology where external data center can be applied. An IM that belongs to IT department with network address of 192.200.19.2/24, an IM that belongs to accounting department 192.168.19.21/24, both of these IM have a large number of users and eventually logs will occupy storage space. Now, what we do recommend here is to have a prepared PC with the requirements stated as before to act as an external data center. In this scenario, the external data center will hold the IP address of 192.200.19.98. Both IAM logs from IT department and also accounting department will be synchronized to external data center a network administrator can view logs from the external data center software. There are five steps to synchronize IM to external data center. The first step is to add synchronized tasks at external data center. The second step is to add a synchronized policy in branch IM. The third step is to verify and synchronize data center. The fourth step is to select IM devices. And the fifth step is to check logs captured in external data center. To configure external data center, we log in to external data center by using the IP address of 192.200.19.98. We have the IT department and the accounting department web console open. First of all, we add a synchronized task. We need to specify a name. Password. And also you can enter any description for the task. Next, select the type of logs that you like to log in the external data center and there are also options for you to choose the synchronized time, remove older synchronized logs and attachment or to compress data being synchronized. We can also set to sync logs generated since a given date. 
click the commit button and you will see a new synchronized task with zero peer device connected. Next, we add a synchronized policy in the IT department web console. Take note of the report center's IP address. The IP address here is the external data center's IP address. Click the policy name that we have created just now and the password that we type for external data center. We check the connection and we sync some logs from internal data center to external data center. Next, add a synchronized policy in the accounting department IM's web console. Enter the external data center IP address, select the policy name, and enter the pre-share key. Check the connection, and also sync some internal data center logs to external data center. Next, when we refresh the report center, we will find that there are two peer devices connected, which is the IT department IM and the accounting department IM. Next, we can choose to view logs from the selected IM devices. In this case, I will select accounting department and I click OK. Now we can view all those logs captured from the accounting department's IAM. I can also choose to view logs from the IT department. Click on details to find out more information about the logs. And I also can select two devices, which is the accounting department and the IT department as well. And now I can view logs from both IM devices. We have come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching.